I truly believe that I could be okay if I decided to rap. I know you say, oh shit, a 42 year old ass nigga talking about rapping. <laughs> but, you know, I love hip hop, love rap. And I figure, you know, with today's rap, with the raps that are hot, it ain't that hard in terms of what they're doing, how they are delivering it. You know, you still got to have that tight beat. And that's half the battle right there, right? That's made me half the battle. More than half the battle is the tight beat. And then you got delivering some flow and style and rhythm and pattern of the rappers and the, you know, the content. Shit, the content don't need to be mean, uh, need to mean that much. Well, I guess it does still. So even in, you know, those songs you would say lack content, you know, the niggas, the bitches, the hoes, the tramps. There are, there, it means something to someone because it is the music sales. So it means something. It means something, all right? So, but even those, you know, I could at, at worst <laughs> do as bad as those. I can do as worse as somebody who's worse than those, and I can do better than some that's worse. I just don't think I can do the worst. <laughs> I guess that's all that matters. Shit, I ain't last. Misty Monday. A day. Sunday. As she sat and thought and paused of the day, she knew that the truth was the way. Misty Monday, she loved a Sunday because the sun shone and the sun shined. It was a thing that was on her mind. Now, this may be more of a spoken word, but even if it is such, you know the word. For Misty Monday on that Sunday, saw the truth, and oh, it made it a fun day. For this is the thing that guided her life, made it all right. Could even say left, but even that is all right. For a misty Monday on that Sunday, she laughed and played and had joy. Because misty Monday on that Sunday, she lived and learned and loved and laughed. And misty Monday on that Sunday, knew what was there and that it would last huh. the truth is that fast to burn your ass <laughs>